How's it going, YouTube? Just here making another video for y'all. A little update on the 2024 Duramax, little review on it. We hit the the 10,000 mile mark on it. So uh, just wanted to give it a little review. We took it out to the mountains and uh, there's not too much talking on it. Just a little, just maybe a little bit on it. But uh, I just wanted to get y'all up to date on how the 2024 is working out. It's actually been doing a, a pretty good job. Uh, we installed the gooseneck hitch on it. We're still yet to to go ahead and try that. I haven't I haven't attached no goosenecks to it yet or nothing. But I mean, hope, hopefully y'all enjoy this video. It's just a little. Uh, it's not it's not a major video or nothing. It's just mostly just driving it in the mountains, you know. Uh, just a little update. The little some little features that it has on it as well. But uh, other than that, man, the 2024 has been doing great, and hopefully y'all enjoy this video, and hopefully it helps some of y'all out if y'all are looking into getting into a 2024 or, or a Duramax or whatever it is. So uh, just a little update, and um, hopefully y'all enjoy it, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So right here, y'all can see we're just hitting some curves. Had that vehicle in front of us, really couldn't couldn't really step on the gas too much because they kept slowing down. They were going like 20 miles an hour. Understandable though, you know. We're up so high in the mountains and so many curves, it's raining, snowing. Forgot that I could do a voiceover for you guys, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Just so there's a little bit more talking in this video because really didn't do a lot of talking, but as y'all can see, it's doing amazing. It's and we have it just on regular mode. I think uh, it's on the switch that it has on the side. I think the only other mode it has is like uh, off road, if I'm not mistaken. You know how some of them have like sports mode and all that. Well, this one doesn't have that. It just it just goes from uh, regular to uh, to off-road first time testing out the 2024 in the mountains got the exhaust brake on over there it's handling up pretty good just hoping you guys enjoy the scenery uh, we were up pretty high it was a little foggy you couldn't really see too much down but I have videos but I'm not gonna post them just because I was playing music in the background, so hopefully I'll enjoy this video. You can feel as soon as that turbo kicks in the next gear that just takes off. I'm not even pressing on the gas or nothing. As y'all can see, we've been enjoying that Google Maps, that big old screen. We love that big screen that it has in there them Google Maps feature that it's amazing it works great got 10,000 miles on her already we got her in what November December we got her in September oh damn like we got her in September. Just that this guy in front of us sucks at driving. issues with her at all that we've had on huh? nothing she's done real good installed a gooseneck hitch on her still yet to try that out Does 
real good though, look at that. It slows down on its own. Press the gas just slightly and the turbo just kicks in. Real nice. One thing we did notice that it does the what the emergency brake on its own, huh? When you're like on a hill, you put it in park. We came back and yeah, the park light was on on its own. Or uh, it wasn't too bad of an incline, but still, that was a pretty cool feature. Put it in reverse or drive, and it, it won't unlock right away. You gotta give it a couple seconds, and it'll disengage. That's pretty tight. Yeah, I don't mind all the quietness. We were just enjoying the view. It was really nice. The weather was great, like I said. And man, that scenery was just awesome. The only thing it was, like I said too, it was a little foggy, so we really couldn't see too far. But I mean, the view was still amazing. Does good on the uphills. No issues, no problems. Step on it, this thing picks up like nothing. Seems pretty good. Good brakes. Oh shit, look at this guy, got in his way. The only feature that we didn't like was no cigarette lighter, no? all USB. So I had to buy another cord for the radar. But there's no USB in the front or the back. It's all USB cords now. <clears throat> this is a tubing resort right here. It's packed right now.
was it. Nice little stroll through the mountains. Guess we should record it going uphill. Show you how that was. That was a good experience too. Thank you for watching and supporting. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all have any more questions, just go ahead and leave a comment or if y'all need me to uh, if y'all want me to make a video of something else on the Duramax or whatever it is, uh, just go ahead and leave it on the comment. Let me know and uh, we'll get to it. We'll try to make a video for y'all and uh, get y'all up to date as soon as possible, man. Appreciate y'all.